Special Counsel Jack Smith said his office is seeking a speedy trial in the January 6th probe and that the investigation into other individuals is continuing. CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman joins us now. Ricky, first, you know from indictments, when you look at this, what to you is the thing we need to keep our, what's the ball we need to keep our eye on? I think what we need to keep our eye on are what are the actual crimes being charged, not what is the whole political picture. This case, in and of its own nature, makes us enter a political discussion. But we're looking at here is the law, John. And the law is very painstaking when it sets out the elements of a crime and the elements of a criminal conspiracy. So here, what we know is there are a number of conspiracy counts. Two of them have literally been explored ad infinitum in wonderful detail by the January 6th committee. Remember, that was not a criminal charging body. So they refer these charges over to the special counsel. But he had to satisfy the members of a grand jury that what the special committee gave to him, put in another form, would create the elements of a crime. So one of the things that we see is that Donald Trump allegedly, we have to remember this is an allegation only, allegedly conspired with a number of other people. So one of the first questions we have is, who are those other people and why haven't they been indicted? Well, they may be indicted at a later point in time, or they may turn out to be witnesses against Donald Trump. So that's one of the things that's on my mind, is when are we going to know what these, uh, these other conspirators, what have they done, what are they doing in terms of going to trial? The special prosecutor asked for a speedy trial. What's your sense on the timing of this and how much of a role does the judge play in whether this is moved along expeditiously or not? The judge plays an enormous role. What you have here, John, we know already we have an indictment in the state of New York that's supposed to go to trial in March. We have an indictment from the Department of Justice that is lodged in Florida. That's supposed to go to trial in May. I would say that this case because it involves the victims being democracy, the victims being the members of the American public, the victims being the voters whose votes might not have counted if, in fact, all of these schemes or any of these schemes of Donald Trump and his cohorts, as alleged, had come true, that voters would have been disenfranchised. The victims are the police officers and other people in the congressional buildings, people of Congress, people who work there, representatives, senators. So we have all of these victims. So it's the United States of America itself that's alleged to be a victim. So I say this case should go first, and the trial judge has the ability to be able to say, OK, I see you've got a March date in New York. I see you've got a May date in Florida. We're putting this case on in January or February, and those other cases will follow. Now, does that mean it will reach a trial in January or February? We don't know. But it certainly should be the one that goes first. And John, I have to say why because it is important because of the election in 2024 to know if Donald Trump is found guilty or not guilty of these crimes, including a crime of conspiracy to defraud the United States of America. Very quickly, Ricky, uh, if you were defending in this case, wouldn't you raise the fact that there's almost no place where Donald Trump received a smaller share of votes than Washington, D.C.? And getting an impartial jury, you could argue, would be very hard yes. just because of the politics. Yes, what do you make of, of that? Um, I think, number one, you try to dismiss for prejudicial pretrial publicity. Number two, you look for a change of venue. Ultimately, we will see if you can find 12 people who can raise their hands and say that they can judge it on the facts that they hear in a courtroom. Ricky Kleeman, a pleasure as always. Thanks, Ricky. Thanks, John.